It is sometimes necessary for our pipeline to cross a major obstacle along its route, such as a major road, railway or river. If this is the case, several different specialist trenchless technologies are available for us to use, dependent on the situation. We're going to explore the directional drill in more detail now. Our working strip will always stay far enough back so as to ensure the safety of the workforce, the public and the environment. A hole is dug either side of the obstruction, in this case a river. These pits are often referred to as the launch and reception pits. The drilling rig and associated equipment can then be brought to site. The rig is positioned on one side of the river. A pilot hole is drilled under the river. We closely monitor the depth of it as our pipeline should be a certain depth below obstructions. A bentonite slurry is pumped up through the drilling head and carries the arisings back to the launch pit. It also maintains the hole's size and shape. Once the pilot drill has passed right under to the reception pit, a reamer head is attached. This is used to enlarge the hole, usually to be between 25 and 50% bigger than the intended pipe diameter. The reaming head pulls the new pipeline behind it. It may be necessary to pass several varying size reaming heads under the obstruction until the desired size is achieved. Once the pipe has been pulled through, it is initially left proud on either side and the level of the drilling slurry is reduced. We often install two directional drills side by side. This ensures long-term security of supply, as if one of the new crossings starts to leak at any point, we can still use the second. The crossing is then ready to be connected into the pipeline as it progresses across the fields. 